Moving on to other stories now, top diplomats of South Korea, the U.S. and Japan met on the sidelines of the G24 ministerial meeting. They discussed ways to strengthen cooperation against Pyongyang's latest nuclear threats. Kim Dami brings the highlights from that session. Top diplomats of South Korea, the U.S. and Japan came together in Bali on Friday to discuss their latest common concern, North Korea's and nuclear ambitions. Friday's in-person meetup was the first of its kind since the launch of the new South Korean government. It was also South Korean Foreign Minister Park Jin's first face-to-face -face group meeting with Secretary of State Antony Blinken and Japanese Foreign Minister Yoshimasa Hayashi, and is another trilateral move aimed at beefing up security cooperation between the three countries. Speaking to reporters afterward, Seoul's top diplomat reiterated the three sides' commitment to deal sternly against Pyongyang's unleashing of nuclear threats and to cooperate on restarting denuclearization talks. According to Bach, new regional and global challenges, such as the global supply chain, ways to cope with the pandemic and climate change, were also high on the agenda. Taking place right after the news broke out about Shinzo Abe's death, there were no handshake photo opportunities. Instead, a group picture taken in a rather solemn atmosphere. Korean uh, government strongly condemns this shooting incident as violent crime. That should not be tolerated under any circumstances. Late last month, the three sides held their first summit in nearly five years on the occasion of the NATO summit in Madrid and discussed ways to boost cooperation in the Indo-Pacific region and against North Korean threats. Kim Dami, Arirang News.